Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to get the file create and update it in Seesaw.net. So this is the code to easily find out to the create and update it in Seesaw. Let's start from first. So first we need to use the system name space. Uh, if I give a comment on the system name space, then directly I am getting the message date time and console on the error. So here date time and console class definition that written inside system namespace. The first system namespace that essential. Now here after I'm using uh, uh, using system IO namespace. So here system IO namespace file info getting the error because file info class definition that written inside system IO namespace. So this two namespace that required now here if you debug the code control comes to main method here after that coincides so here I have taken a string variable str and this place I have a specified to the file path so here see user Adam desktop and inside the desktop you can see Adam file is there now here after the next is file info class that I've taken so with the help of this we can use uh, creating copying deleting moving opting files so this kind of operation we can do with the help of 5l4 class so if I use the object of file info new is the keyword file info is the constructor and str this all so this all path of str that comes to this and here after that go to fi now date time is the uh, struct so it's the only read only so here it is used to represent time typically is expressed in date and time day and fi that call so here d1 is the object of date time fi that call create creation time and d2 here or uh, last uh, it's fi calling last uh, write time and d3 fi calling last access time so write time that is for update creation that display creating date and here last access time it will display so here creation that go to d1 last write that go to d2 last access that go to d3 now console cross dot write so here zero placeholder for d1 one for d2 the two for d3 now let's uh, run and uh, see the output of this code so here build a started project there is no any problem with this code and uh, you can see the output of this code so here uh, first is creating time so now you can see the creating time for 9 2020 this is the timing uh, 17 2015 so 5 22 15 and here 49 2020 it's create uh, creation date of this file and here today is the 9 9 20 now last access time 9 9 20 and the timing 8 21 41 last uh, update or last uh, return time 9 9 20 8 21 20 uh, this is the timing now here I'm going to do some update on this file so here let's uh, write mmm and uh, save and uh, let's uh, write to uh, let's run this code once again and uh, now you can see this is uh, here creation no any changes but it's changed on the last access time 9920 the timing is 858 858 and last to uh, right time 9920 and uh, here this is the uh, 858 and uh, here you can see this all details so this the latest uh, uh, update or changes it's the uh, displaying with this code so this the simplest way now here after i'm going to uh, discuss one more thing so at this place you cannot see any uh, other uh, file like uh, here or uh, like uh, here I'm giving uh, Adam 8 so Adam 8 is not in this place now if I run this code now here what happened let's see 
so here you can uh, get the uh, wrong date time yeah or you can get initial date times of this file so if this file is not exit so here I'm getting go uh, 11 16 01 11 16 01 and uh, here the same timing so I think this the initial date time it's so uh, displaying so if the file is the uh, wrong file is not exit so it's so uh, displaying wrong now there's the uh, one more file this is the uh, XML time so you can test uh, this code with uh, any kind of file like uh, text uh, or uh, XML so let's give x y z and x m l now you can get to uh, last access last write and create date time of uh, this xml file so here creation 4920 and timing it's all our display so this the way we can check out to uh, here create and update or uh, uh, date of this file so I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.